I need you to go ahead and sit down, put the small of your back as small as, as tight as you can. There you go. How's that feel? Good? Yeah, it feels We need right. you to adjust the seats. Okay. I need you to go ahead and hold the arms up. We're going to adjust the arms. Reason we're going to adjust the arms is we want them at a 90 degree angle. So this way you're comfortable with them. Because if your arms are out too far forward, what happens? You get tired in the shoulders. How's that feel? Good? Feels good, yeah. Cool. I need you to go ahead and let go of those for a second. Sit down. We're going to go ahead and strap you in. This is a five-piece safety harness. This is the exact same harness they use in NASCAR. We're going to go ahead and strap you in. And then what I'm going to do is ask you to go ahead and unbuckle yourself. Because when you come back in, we're going to need you to unstrap yourself. So you treat it just like a pickle jar, and you could just open it either direction. Go ahead and open that for me. Fantastic. That's going to explode open once it's under pressure. Okay, let's get you strapped in. And we're going to strap you in nice and snug. The reason we want you in nice and snug, the more you're one with the backpack, the better off your flight's going to be. And we're ready to go. Okay, these are the control arms. Go ahead and hold on to these for me. Hold on lightly. These are your controls. If I tell you arms up or arms down, it means the control arms. Hold on to them the whole time. Don't let go if I tell you arms up. You'll splash down in the water, okay? Good. This is approximately two inches right here on the bar. All my commands are going to be amber, up two, or down two. You're going to pull down slowly and surely. Amber, pull down two. There you go. Pull down two more. Amber, up two. Show me down two. Very nice. Up two. Very good. Always keep the hands parallel together. Got that? Cool. We want to make sure that the hands never go below water and never go above your shoulders. Where do we want the hands to go? Below the water, above my shoulders. Groovy. So we've strapped you in. We've done the up and down. Now we're going to show you how to steer. It steers just like a bicycle. If you sit on a bicycle and you lift your feet up without going forward, what happens? You fall over, go boom. No boom today. We want to keep you going forward. How do we do that? As soon as we start you up out of the water, we're going to ask you to lean your head forward and pull down gently too. Okay? Once you get going forward, you're going to steer it just like you do a bicycle. You're going to look the direction you want to go and you want to turn. So if you want to make a right turn, you're going to look and lean your shoulders without dropping your arm. Look and lean, come back to neutral, look and lean again, Come back to neutral. There you go. Remember to come back, make wide turns. If you turn too sharply, what will happen is you'll have the boat pull you backwards and it makes for it uncomfortable because you have to pull down harder. So show me a left turn. Look left, lean left. There you go. Beautiful. Come back to neutral. Don't stay in that position. Show me a left turn. Come back to neutral. There you go. Perfect. So we have your arms up and down. We have you strapped in. We have you left, right. We're going to show you the key. You ever ridden a jet ski before? Yes. Okay. This is the same post that we use to cut off a jet ski. Anytime I ask you to put the key on, I'm going to ask you to put the key on the other side. When you put it here, it'll stick when you go to pull it off. Always put the key from this side. Hold your control arms up for me. When you put the key on to start it, it's going to go green, double red, red, and then back to green, flashing super fast. When you get that green light, you're ready to start it. How do you start it? You go ahead and use your pinky and push the button on the bottom. Start it for me. There you go. Okay? So all you have to do is push it to start it and hold on to the control. Now if you go to start it and you have a red light in there, that means you might have twisted the throttle. See how there's a red light? Yep. Won't start. Needs to come all the way back to you, nice and easy, and you can start it again. If for any reason you have to do this, close your eyes, you fall in the water for any reason, I want you to pull the key. By pulling the key, I want you to pull your hand away and pull the post off, okay? okay. What I need you to do is go ahead, look up over here, now pull the key away. Beautiful. You've done this before. I need you to go ahead and put this helmet on because I'm going to be able to talk to you, but I won't be able to hear you. Go ahead and strap it in. All right. Arms up. Now I'm going to ask you to put your feet right where they are. I need you to push your hips forward and stand up. You ready to go? Yeah, I'm ready. 